All right, this is Tyler with T Jack Survival. I'm here with Kirsten Recknitz. And we are going to talk about how to potty in the woods. Because it's kind of a big deal. Yeah. shout out to women right now because there's not a ton of information on what you should do when you have to go either number one or number two in the wilderness. So to begin with, um, I like to look for things that seem like they'd be enjoyable to use. Uh, this right here is big sagebrush which actually has antimicrobial properties to it as well, but nice and soft. I might come up with a large leaf and fold it over. Um, oftentimes, I actually end up using smooth sticks um, or even flat rocks, and I'll tell you why. And this is where we're going to get real personal here, okay? Ladies, biggest issue in the wild is those last drops that get caught in your underwear. And so we have two problems here. One is we don't want to do a heavy wipe where we're stripping away good bacteria. Um, and also, we don't want to leave any extra drops still drying in our underpants. Gross, yucky, right? Smelly, nasty. So, with any of these materials, when you're going number one, you don't need to actually wipe. You pat. Pat, 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 pat. This I learned. This, this right? <laughs> we're learning, learning, right? So pat, 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 and then air dry and give it all a little I'll shake. Yeah, Sorry. you know, I even pull my butt cheeks apart and give them a shake. Nice. The biggest deal is to hang out there for a moment, don't get any cuts, use materials that look soft and friendly, and go ahead and pat, but don't wipe. Um, for number two, always make sure you wipe front to back. It's the same for guys as well. Uh, but when you're choosing materials, once again, you want to have a plethora of them prepared before you go because emergency situations never work Come out around. well, right? Yeah. Nobody wants to poop on their pants or their foot for that matter. <laughs> so have a, a ton of materials collected and just be clean with it, you know? Um, if it's super wet, you might even throw some sand up there to kind of dry it out a little bit so it's easier to get off. Yeah, no, I'm, just, I'm thinking these are good this? ideas. I wish I knew this a long yeah, time ago. Yeah, okay, okay. So sometimes yeah, so. throw a little sand up there, dry it out a little bit, and then have a ton of materials with you so that you're not wiping twice with a dirty leaf or rock or pine cone that's smooth and you're using in the right direction. Yeah, they are not omnidirectional. They are not omnidirectional. <laughs> Definitely okay. watch out for that. Um, but really, you just don't want to get cuts. And you want to make sure that you don't leave anything left. You know, we don't want to no hangers. No hangers. Hangers yeah. are really bad. Hangers create agitation and irritation, and um, can lead to having a lot of discomfort yes. in your bum. Can you use this for number two? Absolutely. I would use a number of these for number two. And the biggest thing about mm -hmm. sticks, along with rocks, is the slow wipe. This is not yes. like a soft, tissuey, lovely, like I can just go off to this easily, you know. You gotta be careful because if for some reason that stick is about to get caught up on something, you wanna back off. Otherwise, if you keep going, you're gonna cut your bum, right? Awesome. So, smooth sticks, smooth rocks, they work great. Just make sure that you take your time. Um, I definitely prefer having a ton of leaves in my hand. Mm -hmm like I would have a wad of toilet paper to use a little bit smoother. Um, that said, you want to watch out for things that are too waxy. Okay. Waxy is not going to do you any favors, it's just going to slide. So what are some of the best leaves or plants to look for for this purpose? So I would say something like a big sagebrush that already has bacteriostatic properties to it is great. You don't want to overuse it because you want to keep good bacteria in your system, but 
something like this is going to do you well. Out here, the mullein leaf is phenomenal. It's basically like having this giant velvety piece of toilet paper out okay. there with you. Nice. So to carry those around, uh, great. But any larger leaves will do and just amass a bunch of them before, before you dig the hole and, and get it on. Nice. Is there any specific trick with the rock or any type of rock, like river rock versus basalt granite? Totally. So when we're talking about basalt, this is an extrusive igneous rock born of lava, dried rapidly with all these little holes in it and jagged edges. And if you can find it smooth, that would be great. But um, the f I, I guess I don't usually use it because, I wish I had a piece right here. It can tend to have some jagged corners that come out of nowhere, right? Uh, yeah. Sandstone, usually you can find a piece that looks good, but sometimes it's like sandpaper. It can be a little gritty and mm -hmm. kind of leave a little bit of a rash. So nice. once again, for me, it comes down to the slow wipe. See how you're doing, and if it's feeling good, continue no on. Friction burns. No friction burns. If it's yeah. not working, drop it and go uh, find something else. But All right. lots of leaves, good. All right, so this has been what to use when you gotta poo. Alright, mm -hmm. thanks to Kirsten. And if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching T Jack Survival. Yeah.